What's going on everybody? Dark Hour 717 here. Today we're going to be looking at the Drake Caterpillar. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and follow on Twitch and get those entries in for April's giveaway. The MSR with Fortuna Paint and the Cyclone MT all with LTI. Details will be at the end of the video. Today we will be looking at the Drake Caterpillar. This is currently the premier hauling ship within the verse, at least until the Crusader C2 is released, then it's going to get some stiff competition. That Caterpillar, as I mentioned, is manufactured by Drake Interplanetary. Now, historically, they have a spotty past with many in the verse loving their designs, and with the success of vehicles like the Cutlass Black, a versatile and popular vehicle used by many, Drake has a history of not asking, though, the purpose that their vehicles are going to be used for, and this makes them very popular among pirates. With designs from the seemingly thin-skinned Buccaneer to the more durable and tough Caterpillar, these are favorites for everyone. Now, the main and sole purpose of the Caterpillar is strictly hauling. This is the most popular ship right now for all the cargo traders out there for its size and SCU capacity. Ability to grab large loads and move them across the verse can mean big payoffs for those participating in this occupation. The Drake Caterpillar can be purchased in game at New Deal in Lorville for 4,686,600 AUEC. Now, this is not a ship that is available for rent, so outside of the game, you can pledge this ship when it's available for 295 US dollars. Currently, it is only available in the convoy pack, which is $3,500. Now there is a third way to pledge the Caterpillar and that is defeating Pirate Swarm in Arena Commander and that will open up the pledge for the Pirate variant for the same 295 US dollars. The Drake Caterpillar itself is 111 and a half meters in length, 39 and a half meters in width, and 13.4 meters in height. It is classified as a size 5 vessel and considered as a medium freight ship. Operates with a max crew of four, but is easily handled solo. Has a top speed of 99 meters per second with an afterburner of 894 meters per second. It's got a hydrogen fuel capacity of 2,505,000 liters and quantum capacity of 11,000 liters. This ship will get you and any cargo you have anywhere in the verse for that big payoff. Speaking of payload, the Caterpillar can haul a total of 576 SCU, the highest amount of any ship in the verse currently. With its very industrial interior appearance, it has just the right feel and atmosphere for its role. Stock, the Caterpillar comes nicely equipped with little need for upgrade. It has one size 3 Stronghold Shield Generator, two size 3 Ginzel Power Plants, two size 3 Thermal Core Coolers, and one size 3 Pontus Quantum Drive. Your Porter Olasar to Hurston time is going to be only 3 minutes and 29 seconds, and Olasar to Arcorp 4 minutes and 22 seconds, and Olasar to Microtech 5 minutes and 42 seconds, so not bad in any way. Now the Caterpillar is not equipped to be an offensive vessel, as for weaponry it is really mostly equipped for defensive purposes. Standard weapons are 2 size 2 gimbaled M4A laser cannons, 1 dual size 3 turret M5A laser cannon which is pilot controlled two dual M6A laser cannon man turrets and no missiles are equipped on the Caterpillar at all. Now as I stated stock it is more than capable and ready to go you really do not need to upgrade any components or weaponry. Any upgrades recommended are going to make a minimal difference in the ship's speed and hit point figures. Now you can upgrade the weaponry if you decide by swapping all the guns with the equivalent attrition laser repeaters though the trade-off is not really worth it and you're best to just leave it as it comes stock. The best defense if you find yourself in trouble is to just use its capable shield and get the hell out of there. Drake has really made a winner with the Caterpillar. Between its size, cargo capacity, and ease of piloting, it has enabled a large number of citizens to venture into cargo trading and make a sizable amount of AUEC. Some have even turned it occasionally into a troop transport. For orgs, or as seen in the Price of Freedom mission, the UEE uses it as a prisoner transport. With a future plan modularity, the versatility will increase more for this hauler and give it new life as well. Even with the introduction coming of larger ships that have more SCU, I believe the Caterpillar has hit the sweet spot between cargo capacity and cost to fill. So whether you want to be a low value hauler taking low risk runs or a high stakes hauler, this ship can make it all easy. 
I hope you found this guide useful, and really, I feel no one can go wrong with Caterpillar as long as they enjoy the cargo trading gameplay, and definitely recommend and encourage everybody to give this ship a shot. That's going to be it for the Drake Caterpillar though, but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and follow on Twitch. Get your entries in for April's giveaway, the MSR with the Fortuna Paint, as well as the Cyclone MT, all with LTI to be awarded on May 1st. Just subscribe and leave a comment on any video or follow on Twitch. And hell, do both. Get two entries if you like. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, check out the merch store as well as the Patreon page and members page on YouTube. All the support is greatly appreciated and goes right back into providing for the giveaways. And if you're new to the verse, use the referral code that's in the comments to get an extra 5,000 AUEC when you sign up. Thanks again everyone, and we will catch you next time.